Hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Heather Forgan of stampwithnelly.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the UK. This month in uh, our face-to-face -face classes we have featured the stamping up basic white note cards and envelopes, the gorgeous bright and beautiful designer series paper, beautiful balloons stamp set and beautiful balloons dies and we created three note cards and envelopes starting with simple stamping largest balloon stamped two small ones a sentiment the little strings for the balloons and then some little filling in stamps on there as well and there's some wink of stella splashed on that just for a little bit of bling a um, little bit of stamping on our envelope as well don't know what happened to that um, these have travelled about a little bit so they've got a little bit worse for wear um, got them in the wrong order as well so simple stamping and then we've got our um, sort of intermediate ones so that was just the stamp set this is using the stamp set for the sentiment bringing in the designer series paper and bringing in the dies with coordinating coloured card. Nice and easy. And again, our um, envelope, we've got a tiny little strip of designer series paper on the bottom and uh, some little bits of stamping and an extra die cut balloon on there. And then we stepped it up again to an avid crafter who would have the whole lot and we have created a shaker card and i just used um plain window sheet for my sample but we used the patterned one which i've got here um well i've got what's left of it here um for our uh, card classes so there will be a link to my PDF um, in my blog post that has instructions for all of these cards um, and measurements. Um, but I'm just going to make another one of this one so that you can see what we did. OK, so we have a note card. If I can pick it up, slide it over here. One note card and envelope. And I've got one of my packs left over. And I have some of these iridescent shaker circles left over. They are so cool. And I've got some of my foam adhesives. Now, I haven't set up the stamps or anything like that. can get on with this so first things first put the envelope to the side and just fold over your note card along that score line matching up the edges use your bone folder so these note cards and envelopes come in a pack of 20 then in the packs are handed out at class. I gave them a piece of designer series paper that I have already die cut to go on there. These were the two stars that were die cut, so we could use them for decoration. I gave them some extra stars as well. This piece is to decorate the flap of our, our envelope so we'll do that last a piece of the what's it called gold celebrations specialty specialty designer series paper it's not just gold though because it's silver on one side and gold on the other um, so they got to choose whether they wanted to have silver 
or the gold showing through. I'm going to go gold. And a little piece of card for stamping. So let me find Betty Buck. No, I'm going to do As Your Afternoon. And a couple of taps, make sure that's all inked up. Pop that on there. And then we use the double oval punch to just punch that out. It's a nice fit for that. Like so. So we've got that bit ready now too. And I can get rid of my ink pad. Minimal stamping. We've got a little piece of um, fringing, which I used this die from the set, um, which doesn't actually cut all the way to the end. So I just did it on a strip and then chopped it. So it's probably not straight. In fact, I think that's definitely not straight, but never mind. Close enough. And it's way too long, so we can put that on and just chop that off to fit. So, the shaker part. Decide which way you want your paper. I want this to be the front and I want the gold to show. So I'm bringing in my liquid glue. And just put that around there. Okay. And then just want to make sure that that is covering up those two stars, but isn't going over the sides like that. Okay. So that needs to set, but we can do the next step which is using these foam adhesive strips oh and they seem to be stuck in the bag what have we done we'll take that one out oh i know what it is somebody has taken the top strip off doesn't matter i'll use this one I'll sort that later. Yeah, so it it's stuck to the base there and then there's a protective strip that you need to take off. That's been taken off on one of those, so um, it's stuck to the, the plastic, but that's fine. Not a problem. Just putting that on there. And first of all, we are going to make a little area and I'm Cutting that up so that there's no gap for my things to come out. I'll just take that all the way down there. It's just easier to do it that way. And I'm going to put that across there. Another oh, this one's been chopped. That's good. I'll do that. Get the right sticky bit. And I've just moved that over, have we? No, yeah, can't do that. Because then you would see it. Oh dear, I have made a mess. Let me just peel that all off. I was trying to be too quick. Try to get smart. I'm clearly not smart. <laughs> Let's try again and we'll just put this straight down that side there. So we do have a little gap there that we need to fill. Now I could faff about, technical term, trying to get a piece that would fit in there perfectly. Or I can close the gap off. Close the gap off with a longer piece than I actually want or need, rather. So, I 
can go down a little bit further, but it's not going to get right the way out on there. Just take that off while I'm at it. And I just want to put another piece along here to make the top layer all nice and stable. That doesn't have to go all the way to the end. All right, so let me just put that out of the way just now. Give that another wee burnish. So to make sure you get your shakery bits in the right place, I'm just taking a a healthy pinch and putting them there and this is where they all stick to me they're quite static a little bit more right okay let's see if i can get most of those off we had to get the hoover out at the end of the last class to hoover up all the bits that were everywhere <laughs> right now I'm going to take off the backing to reveal the sticky oh no 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 don't do that don't do that <laughs> oh I don't know what's wrong with me today well I do I'm tired I'm tired Right, have I got the sticky? Got it all off. Right, okay. So, to give myself a little bit of extra time, I'm going to add little bits of glue. Maybe not with that one. No, I'll just do it with the tumble. A little bit of glue along here along all of these little strips. And that way I, I don't, I've got wiggle room. So liquid glue always gives us wiggle room. I didn't particularly want to put it in there though. Oh la la. Got a bit stuck there. A scrap of paper and I'm just gonna take that excess off there. I don't want my sequins all sticking to that instead. Right, so let's get this over here. Let's get this on. Let's see another little sequin there. No, it's stuck to my fingers. Definitely wants to stick to me rather than be on the card. Okay, so I am popping that down, trying to get it kind of in the middle, like so. Happy with that. Give it a decent press. We've got, we've got our shakery bits. All right, just a bit more decoration to do. sentiment I dropped on the floor. So and get me scissors. I want that to go on there. And you can have it hanging over the edge or you can have it you have it wherever you like. Um I'm just gonna chop that along there. Like so I am gonna give it a little bit of a curl. Adds a little bit more dimension to it. Can play with that. Just add glue along that top bit. And pop it on. Oh, 
And it kind of camouflages on that, doesn't it? In the same colour. Um, which probably means I don't want to use that colour of ribbon. This time I will go with this one. So chop that at a wee angle there. Pop that on like that. And for quickness, I'll just get a bit of tear and tape. ribbon on like that got my happy birthday um i'm not going to pop it up because we're already popped up and we'd struggle to get it in an envelope if we've got double just pop that on there and then as i said earlier we had some extra little die cut stars just to add some more fun to this so needless to say everyone that came to the classes went away with a completely different card depending on whether they chose paper they got in their pack or what um which sides they wanted to use whether they added any of these stars or they didn't bother to okay um and we used embellishments okay, and we gave a couple of choices on those so on this one, I think I'm going to go gold. Go the gold one, two, and three. Come on, get off. <laughs> there we go. So those are our pastel adhesive backed sequins and the last bit to do was decorate the envelope flap so adding glue to the flap around the edges then popping on the designer series paper and Again, the liquid glue gives you room to play around with that and then we're just going to trim off that excess on there and then we've got a decorated envelope you could add a little bit more stamping etc i do quite like designer series paper on the flap as just an extra little detail so there we go. There's the one I did before. I was very mean with the shakers so that we had plenty for class. Actually had some left over, which amazed me. Um, so yeah, two different versions of the same card. Hope you've enjoyed this project. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I'd love for you to click on that subscribe button and click the bell to get notification the next time I upload a tutorial. As I mentioned earlier, there will be a link to my PDF for the three cards in my blog post. Um, the link for that is in the description on this video. So please do check that out too. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next time, take care. Bye bye.